You're watching Round Roanoke, your source for what's happening in the Valley. I'm your host, Margaret Hunter Wade. Annually, two distinguished business leaders from our community are recognized for their significant contributions to the region as inductees into the Business Hall of Fame for Junior Achievement of Southwestern Virginia. Since 1990, 51 leaders from the Roanoke Valley have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. And this year, two more distinguished business leaders, along with two entrepreneurs, will be tapped at the event in November. Here to tell us more is Catherine Elam with Junior Achievement of Southwestern Virginia and Todd Nestor with bb and Thank you all for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to see you. So JA, very important organization, great tie with the business community, but just tell us quickly who you are and what you're up to. Well, Junior Achievement is serving young people in grades K through 12, and our purpose is to make certain that they get real life introduction to understanding about career readiness as well as personal finance and entrepreneurship. Some very important skills that right. you all are, are working with local young students with, but there's a great tie here between JA and the business community. That's why you're here, Todd, but kind of share right. with our viewers what that's all about. Well, for 58 years, JA's been in this region, and it was an outgrowth of the business community. They felt like we needed to have a program in place for young people to be able to understand that they can apply what they learn in the classroom in the workplace. And we have been very fortunate to have tremendous supporters along the way. And this year is no different. With our Business Hall of Fame, we have bb &T. Excellent. So why does bb &T get involved in an organization like this? Well, bb &T has been affiliated for a number of years with Junior Achievement. Uh, we think the work they do with the local youth is invaluable. And over the years, we've had a lot of employees that have participated with Junior Achievement in the classroom teaching financial literacy classes. It's a great way to get your employees involved in an important cause as well. So uh, Business Hall of Fame, bb and is a partner with that, and that's what we're here to talk about today. So what you got going on this year? Who? Well, we're very excited. It is one of those things we kind of realized afterwards, but we have two people that represent the auto industry. So mm -hmm. we have Bruce Farrell with Berglund Automotive, mm -hmm. as well as Jim Wade with Advanced Auto Parts. Very good. And then our, our uh, entrepreneurs for mm -hmm. the year actually have a common theme as well with education. Jonathan Hagemeyer with Interactive Achievement, and then David Poteet with New City, who also has a lot to do with enhancing experiences on the website for colleges. Excellent. So we're excited. Very worthy yeah. individuals. So how are these folks selected? I know it's not an easy task to do, so how do you go about finding your laureates? Well, every year we have at least seven to eight individuals from the business community that are not serving on our board, but are leading business people who kind of sit together and determine based on the fact that we are looking for laureates that are outstanding in their own industry, have been civic leaders, and are also wonderful role models to our students that are thinking about business. And so we have eight people this year that we can thank for selecting our individuals that we're saluting. Excellent. And this is our 25th year, our anniversary year, 25th anniversary year with Very this good. event. Yeah. Very good. So it must, for the people that are selected, to know that their fellow business, you know, folks chose them. I'm sure it's quite an honor. So the Entrepreneur Award, how did that come about? Because I know that's newer for you all, but exactly. in addition to recognizing you know, a few more people, what's the idea behind that? It really came about because of the fact that we know so many of our young people in high school are very intrigued by going into their own business, and we felt this is a great way to show the individuals that are right there in the trenches every day and are really excelling. And we have some two good examples Absolutely. of what it takes to get out there and really get a business up and running. And they are expanding, it seems like, every year. So it's been ex exciting to add them in. Great. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we've talked the details of the event yet. So when is it? Where is it? How can people come and help celebrate these individuals? Okay. Again, it is going to be November 5th okay. on a Thursday at Hotel Roanoke. And you can purchase tickets by going to www.jaswva.org. <laughs> and you go to our special events tab, and you'll see where Business Hall of Fame is there. And you can scroll down, you can purchase a ticket, or you can purchase a table. Oh, and nice. we do have sponsorships available. And like I say, we have Join bb, &T. BB &T. Right. They Absolutely. took the lead, and we are <laughs> so excited for that. And there's still a couple more of those available to the public, and okay. we're looking at that. Excellent. Mm -hmm. We are about to wrap up, but before we do so, this isn't the only thing that JA does. We talked about how you go out in the classroom. So for our viewers that perhaps can't make it to the dinner but want to get involved, 
what can they do to, to help Jay with your mission? Well, we certainly would love for them to be in our classroom again. And we are looking for volunteers. We have them year round where we're needing them for grades K through 12. And again, to visit our website, that's the best place to start. And knowing that we're looking for individuals who are willing to share and be very enthusiastic about going to work. And that's the thing we really want to get across is that this is a great place to live and work. Excellent. Great messages to yeah. instill in our young people. So thanks for all your work and your support. Support. Thank you. And I uh, hope the event goes well. All right. Thanks so much. You can find out more about JA's Business Hall of Fame and other events happening in the Roanoke Valley on the community calendar coming up at the break. I'm Margaret Hunter-Wade, and you're watching Round Roanoke on Cox 9. Thanks for tuning in.